for those that need to allow YouTube videos for students to be able to watch on their own, we've been working on a, a process to try and make that a little bit easier for you. In the past, it's required uh, some, some modifications on the content filter side, and now we're at a point where you can actually go in and allow, approve YouTube videos on your own without our in intervention from the technology department. So I do want to throw out one caveat before I show you how to do this. You can already or should be able to view YouTube videos on your own and display those to your class. So this process does not apply to that. You already have full access to videos. This only applies to when you assign a video for students to watch on their Chromebooks that may or may not be in class. Maybe it's something that they need to be able to access from home. By default, we block videos regardless of where they're at. So you'll need to approve videos so that they can access videos at home as well on their Chromebooks. So this process will be similar as to what we do on a Windows device. Uh, pull up YouTube and you find a video that you want to watch and allow. And you'll see there's a blue bar right underneath of the video here that currently says video not approved for our domain. I'm going to click the approve button. This is a video that I want to allow and you can see now video approved. It really is just that simple. Um, I will say that this can take a little bit of time to kick in on student Chromebooks. So if they're already signed in, don't expect them to just magically be able to view the video within five seconds of you clicking the button. My recommendation would be to have them log out and log back in or just simply reboot their Chromebooks and then they'll be able to, to view those videos wherever they're at.